Also with 3.3, we added fader echo, and that is exactly what you think it would be. That is a fader triggered echo effect, and that applies to either the up faders or the cross faders. Okay, now the options for fader echo are in a new tab called the FX tab. So if you go to your settings, there's a completely new tab you'll see called FX. And here you can adjust some of the sweep effects things like the filter resonance and um, other settings, but here are our fader echo settings. So I can set it to whatever beat division I want. I'll do half beat and you can set the feedback however you'd like it, I'll do 50%. Okay, and those are the settings. To enable fader echo, there are a couple ways we can do that. We can go to the main menu, the control center, and we can just select it here. So you can select it there, or most likely if you're in the performance view, there's a small icon up top, you can just select it there. And again, back in the settings of that, you can change the beat division. Or you can also set it to disarm after trigger by hitting this toggle here. Why would you wanna do that? Well, if you're just somebody that wants to kind of mix in and out using your line faders, your channel faders, you can just know that when you cut that line fader at the mix out point, it's gonna echo out, and then when you bring it back up and do whatever, it's not gonna do it again until you load the next song and go through the process again. So I just did it one time. All right, and I'm gonna take that one off. It does also work with the cross fader, so let's just have some fun here. And load up a scratch track. We'll put it over here. My BPM is pretty close, so we'll be good there. But I got my fader echo on, so it does work on the cross fader. And it only engages the echo after you cut off the crossfader. So if I just, nothing. Again, if I wanna adjust my uh, echo feedback, it's pretty high. Let's dial it back 40%. 